Hey third graders. Hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful spring break. I know I did nothing but read and watch TV and play games on my phone, a couple with my sister. You know, gotta, gotta get this social interaction in there since I have to social distance myself from everybody else. Um, so welcome back to school. Um, I know it's not the way we all want it. I know we most of, I must mean most of you would actually wanna be here at school. I'm at school at the moment, if you can tell from my lovely background. I came in to grab some supplies and um, help Mr. Gobler with some technology stuff. Um, but I'm about to head home um, to get ready for lessons tomorrow. Um, but I just wanted to give you a couple quick reminders before we um, dive in to this next week of virtual learning. Um, so please remember with math that um, the assignments that you're given, please take a picture of all the pages. So I know some days it's only one page and other days it seems to be three. And just like we talked about, try to get the um, page as close to the camera as you can because um, it, it improved a little bit since my last ask for this, but some of you, it's still like way back here. And then when I try to get close, it's hard to see. Or some of you are doing it in like a dark part of the house and it's really hard to see. So if you can get maybe like the top half and then the bottom half and take some pictures, I know it's hard sometimes to line it all up. Um, like I said, your beautiful faces in the picture. Send me a separate picture of your beautiful faces and that way I can see more of you. Um, just a heads up, I know a couple, there's one lesson, the lesson I'm actually teaching on Tuesday for math. There's a lot that you're gonna be doing, so just a heads up, um, but I know you guys can do it. Um, with reading, guys, please remember, first of all, with Newzella, there are some of you who are not doing your Newzella assignments, at least you weren't before break. Um, I, there's a couple of you who didn't do any of the three, so remember you need to be reading the article, you need to be answering the multiple choice questions, and you need to be um, doing the written response. Now, for, I am responding and grading the written responses, so if you go back into the old articles and click your, your stuff, you should be able to see the comments I wrote. Um, I'm looking for not only answering the question, but I am also checking for capital letters, I'm checking for punctuation, I'm checking to make sure you answered the whole entire question because some of you, if there were two parts to it, you're only answering one part of it. Um, so make sure you're doing all the different parts and then going back and checking to see if I wrote you a note. The other reading things with your mystery book, since you're all in different books, I know I've been asking you guys to read like a chapter at a time. Um, the Trouble with Chickens book, since your chapters are so short and you have so many more chapters, most groups have about 10, 11 chapters, and you guys have about 23. I figured you guys can do two a day, um, so I'll try to keep track of what chapter you're on. Um, remember, your responses need to be typed into your reading Google Doc. Um, you don't need to be putting pictures there, just typing your response. And please make sure it's thorough. Some of you are only writing like three words, or like when I was asking for a character list, you just wrote me the names of your characters. Make sure you're giving me the details and you're answering the questions in full. All right. Um, <clears throat> so I know some of you have, there were a couple of you actually that set up um, Google Docs to type back and forth to one another, which is awesome. I have been looking into maybe trying to do some sort of um, class meeting like on Zoom or Google Hangouts or something. Um, so once I figure that out and how that's going to work, I will let you know um, a time and a, the day and the time that we're going to start doing that. And maybe at least for the first one, maybe we'll just like do a Mad Libs or something. Um, have them in my bag to take home so we can maybe do something fun like that. Um, play a game or read a book or something just to see and talk to each other. Um, since there'll be a lot of you, we'll probably have to put some rules in place so that we're not all talking over each other. Um, other than that, I don't think I have any other, um, announcements to make other than happy spring, indeed. Although it's been cold and miserable for a little bit. Thunderstorm kept me up last night. Um, so, if you want to stop the video now, you may. Otherwise, I was going to really quick read a book. Hopefully this isn't backwards to you guys right now. So, just for a little something fun, and actually I have a special guest. I had to go get him. So Jackson, if you're watching, Mike is here. Mike's listening to our story. All right, so I'll sit him. I don't know if you can see him right there. No, I can't sit on my shoulder. But anyways, Mike is here. Mike is ready for the story. Are you ready? Here we go. Miss Nelson is missing. The kids in room 207 were misbehaving, again. 
Spitballs stuck to the ceiling. Paper planes whizzed through the air. They were the worst behaved class in the whole school. Reminds me of some kids I know. Kidding. Now settle down, said Miss Nelson in a sweet voice. But the class would not settle down. They whispered and giggled. They squirmed and made faces. They were even rude during story hour. And they always refused to do their lessons. Something will have to be done, said Miss Nelson. The next morning, Miss Nelson did not come to school. Wow, yelled the kids. Now we can really act up. They began to make more spitballs and paper planes. Let's just be terrible, they said. Not so fast, whispered an unpleasant voice. A woman in an ugly black dress stood before them. I am your new teacher, Miss Viola Swamp. She wrapped the desk with her ruler. Where's Miss Nelson? asked the kids. Never mind that, snapped Miss Swamp. What? Open those arithmetic books. Miss Nelson's kids did as they were told. <laughs> they could see that Miss Swamp was a real witch. She meant business. Right away, she put them to work. And as she loaded them down with homework, We'll have no story hour today, said Miss Swamp. Keep your mouth shut, said Miss Swamp. Sit perfectly still, said Miss Swamp. And if you misbehave, you'll be sorry, said Miss Swamp. Days went by and there was no sign of Miss Nelson. The kids missed Miss Nelson. Maybe we should try to find her, they said. So they went to the police. Detective McSmog was assigned to the case. He listened to their story. He scratched his chin. Hmm, he said. Hmm. I think Miss Nelson is missing. Detective Mick Smog would not be much help. Other kids went to Miss Nelson's house. The shades were tightly drawn and no one answered the door. In fact, the only person they did see was the wicked Miss Viola Swamp coming up the street. If she sees us, she'll give us more homework. And they got away just in time. Maybe something terrible happened to Miss Nelson. Maybe she was gobbled up by a shark, said one of the kids, but that didn't seem likely. Maybe Miss Nelson went to Mars, said another kid, but that didn't seem likely either. I know, exclaimed one know-it-all. Maybe Miss Nelson's car was carried off by a swarm of angry butterflies, but that was the least likely of all. The kids in room 207 were very discouraged. It seemed that Miss Nelson was never coming back, and they'd be stuck with Miss Viola Swamp forever. They heard footsteps in the hall. Here comes the witch, they whispered. Hello, children, said someone in a sweet voice. It was Miss Nelson. Did you miss me, she asked. We certainly did, cried all the kids. Where were you? That's my little secret, said Miss Nelson. How about story hour? Oh, yes, cried the kids. Miss Nelson noticed that during story hour, no one was rude or silly. What brought about this lovely change, she asked. That's our little secret, said the kids. Back at home, Miss Nelson took off her coat and hung it in the closet, right next to an ugly black dress. When it was time for bed, she sang a little song. I'll never tell, she said to herself with a smile. P.S. Detective McSmog is working on a new case. He is now looking for Miss Viola Swamp. So, I hope you all miss me as much as they miss Miss Nelson. I miss you guys terribly. All right, I'll let you know about the Zoom thing. Mike says bye. All right, see you guys later.